Hello friends, I am Dr. Vivek and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the third poem of Kamla Das, uh, which is prescribed uh, in your syllabus. And uh, the name of the poem is uh, The Fancy Dress Show. Show. The Fancy Dress Show is the poem, third poem of Kamla Das that we are going to discuss today. And uh, this poem is basically talking about uh, uh, talking about the um, talking about the uh, reality of life. Uh, reality, how it works, and how this uh, um, the people uh, show their dress. Like the man's personality, the person's personality come out by the, his or his dress. It's not the his uh, characteristic or uh, his personality traits uh, that reflects or that recognizes the person. A person is recognized just by his or uh, her dress. It is a kind of society in which we recognize a person by, or the person is recognized by, uh, by his uh, or her dress. It's not the pers uh, person's uh, personality, uh, the good traits uh, that reflects his or her personality. So that is basically is talking about the deceptiveness, deceptiveness of person's personality that is uh, it's all talking about in this poem, the Kamla Das. Uh, here in the poem is uh, talking about uh, is talking about uh, here is now we we start this poem by Mm. by this uh, mm. yeah uh, this poem yes uh, uh, now uh, this poem you can see uh, the fancy dress show the every virtue requ requires today a fancy dress here uh, the the poem starts every virtue every virtue in this world requires a fancy dress means you require if you want to uh, know a person or recognize a person you first of all you have to recognize with the with the kesa, with the with the dress of a person if a person is wearing a, a very religious dress uh, like kesok or other religious traits uh, uh, you will recognize as a very, very, very kind or uh, that person, they use, they, people make use of this concept by deceiving others. Uh, as every virtue, the poet says, the uh, poet says, uh, the every virtue requires today uh, a fancy dress, the kesok, uh, the kes, uh, uh, the kesuk, uh, this this kesak is a dress, the ho holy dress of a priest. Uh, the kesak is uh, the priest's main virtue. Means you you recognize a priest by this dress, this this ho holy dress. Otherwise, you are not re you will not uh, recognize a person a priest um, uh, if he uh, he is not wearing this uh, this dress. The clever politician dons a saint's uh, since mean April, uh, they this who this very very tricky or very clever politician make use of this trait uh, by wearing the saint's April means they wear uh, saint's dress dress in this not literally the dress but uh, saint the qualities like simple uh, very uh, very simple and uh, very kind. So they, they, the politicians use this this dress on their personality, uh, like being a very, very kind, simple, 
uh, on their appearance or their on their personality now only ash is on the legitimate forehead you find this uh, on the forehead this monks uh, uh, has uh, these uh, these marks this uh, uh, on this their forehead with this ash they are recognized as monks uh, on the legitimate forehead and the holy water is in the legitimate container and they are the monks having the holy container in which they are holding a holy water and uh, by this appearance the uh, the purse the they wear or they 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 have this uh, this kind of uh, appearance because they want that people should recognize them whether they have uh, the personality in their personality they are having this trait or not but this appearance must uh, must be there they make make use of this uh, this uh, thing in their personality uh confessions are mumbled regularly in the dark the confessions are done are, are uttered in the dark so that they you know they can hear their confessions the patriots have survived their long fast uh, they they deceive the this patriot the, the fake uh, the patriots they deceive by uh, doing fasts uh, if they are fasting they are patriot the patriots have uh, survived their long fast the children of the poor have not been so lucky the the children of the poor they are not uh, lucky enough to to dress to use such kind of uh, this phenomena as the politicians or this monks or these kind of people they are wearing this dress this 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 fake dress fake dress to deceive others so th these children the poor children they don't have such kind of tricks uh, in them they cannot use them they are uh, that's why they are uh, they are pretty they are suffering the city mocks are uh, full of unclaimed cadavers the mortuary the mocks means mortuary is full of unclaimed cadavers cadavers means uh, uh, these corpses uh, you cannot recognize them uh, uh, without any recognition without any 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 name they are they are these mocks mocks are full of these uh, cadavers yes god is in his heaven and all this right with this stinking world and god is heaven he's he's watching all this and he do uh, the god uh, he does not have uh, have this uh, 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 does not uh, having a pity on the people, their conditions. Uh, the poor people are suffering, and these these fancy dress people are 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 are, are uh, uh, relishing in their life. So why it's so? Why it's it's uh, this is not doing justice. God is not doing justice uh, to this uh, poor people. So this is all about the poem. Now uh, they if reminds you. Uh, some other uh, terms or some other lines from other poems that uh, reflect the same. As I quote, uh, I quote you uh, from different uh, poems or works that familiarizes uh, with these lines. First of all, Browning, Robert Browning uh, has. Uh, has said as the last line says uh, by Kamala Das, God is in his God is in in uh, God is in his heaven and all is right with this stinking world. So Browning says uh, Browning uh, says the same thing uh, which uh, which I, I quote. Uh, Browning says God is in heaven and all is right with the world uh, brownie says or brownie says god is in is in heaven and all is right with the world so the same it reminds these last lines of uh, of uh, mm, uh, this uh, writer it reminds you the same lines uh, of uh, of uh, browning it reminds you so, um, 
to this. Uh, now the King Lear also says, Shakespeare says, uh, as flies to wanton boys, are we to God, they kill us for their sports. So the same lines it's has been talked about by Shakespeare in King Lear, as flies to wanton boys, are we to God, they kill us for their sports. I mean, there is a pity, there's a kindness of these uh, people. Uh, it's no, nobody cares about these, these poor people, uh, these, uh, uh, these helpless people. Uh, the poem is a social satire, as you know, as uh, it depicts. And Iago Shakespeare in Othello says, Iago says, I am not what I am. It also reflects the theme of the poem. It reflects, I am what, what I, I am not what I am. I am not what I am. What he is showing on his personality he is not what he is showing on his personality. No. So this is this is that thing. And now the Thomas Hardy said, "All that glitters is not gold." In ode on the death of the favorite cat drowned in a tub of goldfishes. All that glitters is not gold. Uh, uh, it's also talked about uh, in the. You, I, I want you to, yes, this line also talk, all that glitters is not gold, is, is, has been talked about by Shakespeare, for uh, giving you uh, a clue in which play, which play of Shakespeare has been talked about, these, these, uh, in the character utters these lines, so that you have to write in the comment section. So, this is all about this poem. Uh, uh, read this if you find any problem you can ask thank you so much for watching thanks